Biologists are treating West Michigan rivers to fight the invasive sea lamprey and protect native fish species. News 8's Kyle Mitchell gives us a look at the program. U.S. Fish and Wildlife says one sea lamprey can kill up to 40 pounds of fish over its lifetime. That's why this program was put in place. It's a menace to the Great Lakes ecosystem and requires a team dedicated to protecting our waterways. The adults are in the parasitic form will eat things like Chinook salmon, lake trout, lake sturgeon. U.S. Fish and Wildlife have a team that travels around the Great Lakes Basin to find and kill invasive sea lamprey. They live burrowed into the sediment, so they're very hard to find. Uh, we have an assessment team that goes out and searches throughout the Great Lakes tributaries looking for the larvae specifically to find them. The method the sea lamprey uses is similar to native lamprey, but the invasive species grow larger and can decimate Great Lakes fish species. They have a suction cup-like mouth, and that mouth attaches right onto the side of the fish. It's a very pow powerful suction. And then they use their tongue to cut a hole in the side of the fish in order to drink their body fluids. Crews were treating Crockery Creek today with a chemical called TFM, using a small amount that shouldn't harm other fish, monitoring the levels throughout the process. Lamprey are a primitive fish. They've been around for millions and millions of years. So they're unable to metabolize that chemical, uh, the lamprecide. So they essentially die. The program has made a major impact in helping the native fish population thrive. Some people think they're like, well, this doesn't really affect me. I don't know there's sea lamprey here. I've never heard of that before. And that lets me know we're doing our job because 60 years ago, our program came about because the lake trout were decimated. The team says the work is rewarding, knowing they're helping protect Michigan's waterways. It's very important that we're taking care of all the invasive species that we can that are affecting the Great Lakes. Invasive species are one of the number one threats to the Great Lakes ecosystem. In Muskegon County, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.